Now, over the past couple of training videos, we learned how to create some PST files or local files on our computer that would display over here in the navigation pane as folders for archive, storage, offline. Now, if you want to go ahead and protect those folders, which we lightly covered in previous training videos, this is going to be a targeted video on learning how to specifically protect them by assigning them a password. So that way, if anybody has access to your computer and opens up your Outlook, they can't open it up without the password. So let's go ahead and password protect our archive folders here by right clicking on it, going down to properties, then coming over here on the general tab and clicking on the advanced button, click on change password. Now the old password we didn't have any so we'll leave it blank. Come down here in the new one and type in a new password. This box down below just says if you check it that it's going to save it so anytime you open up Outlook you don't need to type in a password. That could be good or bad just depending on how you want to protect your files there. So for example, if nobody has access to your Outlook program, that's good. But if they do, then it's not best to save your password in the password list. Go ahead and click OK, click OK, and then go ahead and close out and let's test it. Come down here and click on my Outlook icon. Now mine's hosted, so I'll click OK. Then it'll ask me for the password, type it in, hit enter, and now I have access to, well, not only Outlook, but my archive files here. I guess you could say it's kind of like an all or nothing. In other words, once you protect one of your uh, PST files here, or the archive folders in this case, you can't have access to Outlook at all because it's part of Outlook. It's displayed over here in the navigation pane without that password. Now, if you want to remove that password, go ahead and right click on the folder here, go down to properties. Again, click on the advanced button, click on change password, and the old password, go ahead and type it in and for the new password leave it blank because you don't want to assign it a password. Click OK, OK, OK and again you can close out. Click on the Outlook icon here to open it back up. Again mine's hosted. Click OK and there's no password. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos and for only $2 a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.